I wanted to put a nice little animation on my web page, but I was having a problem creating it and exporting it out of Adobe After Effects to get the look that I wanted. I first tried to export it using H.264, but then realized my background color uh, stays the same and I don't have the ability to match it with the background on my web page. So after some playing around, I found a way to do it and wanted to share it with you. It's pretty simple. And the cool thing is, is you actually get a really low file size, way smaller than if you exported it as a GIF. So let's get started. So this is my video. And I'm simply gonna add this to the media encoder queue. And if you have all that linked up, that should open up for us. Here we go. So there's one in here. Uh, it's already set for me, but we're looking for PNG. Now, uh, I first did try doing a GIF with transparency. And my exported version um, was 10 megabytes at the full size and then five megabytes um, with, if I scaled it down to half the size. Uh, so let's check and see what the file size is when we um, scale this down and export it. It's much, much smaller. Uh, so let's, uh, let's look at a few settings here. Uh, I don't need 1920, um, so I'm gonna uncheck that and we're gonna do uh, 600, because that's about the size that I'm gonna be using on the web page. Alright, so if what you want to do, um, since I didn't describe it, is just go in this box down on the bottom left presets and look for PNG and do the one that says PNG sequence with alpha. And you're just gonna, and you're gonna take that and drag that over here, over into the right side. Um, and uh, let's see, and I don't need that as I already have one set, but. <clears throat> yeah, these, should, these are the same settings that we saw earlier. So when that's done, you just hit play. That will render out. And what that's going to do is just create a whole um, list of PNG files uh, for every frame that we have. So we can just see the full animation view as that progresses through there. So we got about 299 at 22 kilobytes each. So we're going to use uh, FFmpeg to actually combine these. So if you open up your terminal window, oh, that should be the right one. I should have named this something easier, but let's try it. <coughs> so we're just going to name the file um, the same name as these PNGs are, um, except for the numbers here. So if you actually have four, um, so if your frames, you know, if you have a longer video, it'll spit out four numbers. Um, so you just want to change this to a four. So this percent zero four D is just saying there's going to be a three, well, four num in my case, three numbers here that I'm sequencing and replacing, and then just name it whatever the output is that you want, um, which in our case is going to be uh, Web M, and that will start processing and creating your Web M video. Go. That's done. 
So a file that was uh, at minimum five megs with an animated GIF is only 230 kilobytes with uh, a WebM file, which is absolutely amazing. Um, so let's go ahead and open this and see what this looks like. There we go. So if we inspect this page, let's change the background color. You can see the background actually uh, changes. It creates the, uh, keeps the alpha channel on there. Um, so really helpful. There you go.